Today we have a new face with us, Terrence, um, and also we have, as always, Jasmine. Pleasure to see both of you. Uh, Terrence, if you want to go ahead and kick it off. Yeah, I think I'm going to let Jasmine introduce herself. Oh, <laughs> you know, I have this hair on some days, but right now it's a pandemic, so <laughs> meh. Yes, so I am, I come from a diverse background of mostly entertainment and design, and then I made my way into the e-commerce world to live the dream and sip uh, martinis on a beach somewhere and have my whole life automated with an e-commerce store. And then I got a job, you know, in the same thing. So you can have both um, and we can't travel anyway, but, uh, and they let, they let me pick my own title. So I am the chief ideator of creative architecture and heuristic idealism. So I thought that was fun. Uh, and most people can't spell any of it. So, <laughs> and I'm so thrilled to have Terrence today because he is like, my yin to my yang in the technology yeah. <laughs> super super nerd space i'm so excited <laughs> well yeah we i prefer to say geek but you know nerd i guess oh it works we're too. gonna get into that okay well, there's <laughs> a lot of discussion between geeks, geeks and nerds so yeah yeah well i'm happy to be here uh i'm terence mcdevitt i'm a solution architect at bluefish um what does that mean well we like to say that our solution architects are really responsible for making sure that we're building the right thing for our clients, right? It's one thing to just sort of, you know, slap a solution together and hope it works and solve some business problems. But it's another thing to, you know, really sit and listen and understand uh, really sort of elicit, you know, requirements and constraints and those sorts of things from our clients and, and make sure that we're guiding them in the right direction on their technology solutions. Um, I do come from a technical background. I used to be a developer, uh, but I've always been a consultant, I, you know, coming out of college, you know, I, I found a job that was at a consulting agency where we had to wear suits all the time because they were dealing with like financial services business. And, and I never thought in a million years I would be that type of person. And that's pretty much all I've done in my career is consulting. So, you know, really working closely with our clients and, and making sure that we're really, you know, knocking it out of the park. Um, and, you know, in talking with, with Jasmine about just, you know, kind of the yin and yin and yang, um, it's, we're really, like, I, I work often with different disciplines and really trying to, you know, make sure that we're incorporating their ideas into the solutions and sometimes pushing back, you know, sometimes that's kind of the challenging part of my job is to say, hey, that's a really cool idea and we may not be able to pull it off because of this, this and this, or yeah, we can pull it off and maybe just not within the constraints of the project. So. Anyway, so that's that's who I am. I love men's basketball, uh, college men's basketball. I love my North Carolina Tar Heels. That's where I went to school, and uh, I've got a great family too. All right, so Jasmine, let's talk about the roast. All right, so um, our goal is to keep it short, keep it fun, uh, make people think about maybe their website. You know, you you work every day for the company you're at. Um, how often do you look at your website as a consumer with fresh eyes? Um, so this is our opportunity to just go around and poke at things and make you maybe hopefully look at things in a different light or consider other options. Um, and yeah, so let's jump in. So who do we got today? And today, we are going to be reviewing a company called Quantum Nutrition Labs out of Austin, Texas, where we're based. So Jasmine, what do you think? Should we just treat it like we've never seen this company before? Yeah. And let's do a maybe a Google search for Quantum Nutrition Labs. Yeah, so one of the things we like to do is like, what is the customer journey to get to your page? How competitive is it? Do they get lost? Is your name hard to spell? Um, cool, so you typed in Quantum Nutrition Labs. So this looks correct. We've got yeah. actually all the things that you could buy, which is great. Yeah, it's um, nice ads, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we've got an ad right next. Um, and then organically, it looks like that's still the right company. Cool, cool, cool. Anyone else on this list we should worry about? What is this? This is interesting. This is qnlabs.com, which is definitely their site. This is yeah. qnhshop.com, but and says Quantum Nutrition Labs. It also has it Dr. Does Bob say Quantum. Huh. So they both say Quantum Nutrition Labs, um, which is concerning. And then it seems like there's actually a lot of websites that say oh, yeah. Quantum Nutrition Labs. That's um, true. So just for comparison, since we're in the know, let's take a look at the QNH shop that seems to be QNL Labs. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. this is not pretty. <laughs> um, but this is also not the company we're trying to look at today. Um, do they sell the same thing? Yeah, I this do. looks this looks like it. Let's click into a product and see. That's definitely the Quantum Nutrition that is Labs logo. Yeah. 
So are they, I wonder if they're a reseller then. Um, could be, could be certainly. And I, I would think for QNL, this is going to cause confusion for their customers. So what strategies, Jasmine, could we use on the SEO side of things maybe to kind of bump those down a little bit and bring up QNL in the search results to avoid that kind of confusion? Mm, well, there is SEO and then there's also lawyers. I don't know if they're allowed to do this. So I would ask. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I know that with Google ads, you're not allowed to use a trademark name. So they're not using, like, it doesn't say it's an ad using the words quantum nutrition labs. So it's right. not like we can block that. Right. Um, but the name of our website, QNL labs or quantum nutrition labs is on everything that they're doing here, yeah. which is very, I, I doubt, I doubt that's legal. Because I can't actually start a site that's like Disneyland. Right, exactly. I don't know. But okay. again, I don't know the relationships that they might have with um, their well, vendors. And, and, and here's another one. This is Radiant oh, Light Nutrition. Yeah, wow. Completely different. 1982. Yeah. Uh, this is painful. Uh, that I don't know. Is it the same company or are they just ripping off the name? Or is that just old product? Looks like it might be old product. This is maybe old style labeling. Yeah. Does, does I think the site that's... even still work? This site, let's go. Let's figure out can super, you like buy super something? specials. Looks like I can. Oh, wow. You can actually buy stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's concerning. We don't need to, you know, roast these guys. Maybe that's another nope, session. Nope, nope. <laughs> I do like the birds though, but I like All right. Them. Well, let's drill into, well, let's real quick, let's look at the results um, here on Google. So definitely have some nice structure here on the search results. So we're seeing mm -hmm. subcategories right there in the results. That's great uh, from an mm -hmm. SEO standpoint. Um, and they did have I, all the products listed at the top just for immediate sale. Yeah, that's correct. And then mm -hmm. one thing though, here on the titles of these pages, not necessarily optimized here. So products A through Z. Okay. Well, we see that in the title, but we don't really get any information. Not extra. There. Yeah. yeah uh, radio special, same sort of thing. So maybe some work could be done around that. What do you say we drill into it? Let's go in. Okay. Let's go to the site. All right. All right. Well, based on the other sites that call themselves Quantum Nutrition Labs, I already feel a little bit better um, because this seems not to be from 1982 and it seems yeah. to be a functioning website. Um, yeah. Oh, it even has a pop-up for Oh, game. look at that. Yeah, oh, discount so, if I enter my email address. That's oh, great. Oh, because you're in incognito mode? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. That's funny, no thanks, that. I'll pay full price. Oh. <laughs> um, now this is a valuable piece of real estate. It is being eaten up completely by um, an animated picture. Um, yeah. I don't give a lot of credence anymore to homepages other than that they bring in organic traffic. Yeah. So the nice thing about this is that compared to the other sites, this looks legitimate because they've clearly spent some money. It's not, you know, ridiculous like the <clears throat> other sites. It's probably a functioning website, but this is very valuable real estate. And I don't know if this is the most important message that you could have um, about who they are and what they represent. Um, it's right, taking right. up so much space above the yeah. And if, and if I'm a new customer coming to the site, I, this doesn't necessarily speak to me, right? I could see if I purchased a few times, then, you know, this idea of you know, nature and the, you know, the B12, like, yeah, I could get that. But maybe my first impression of this as a new customer, this might not really speak to me. Um, I'm also looking for supplements and nutrition, and this is giving me some serious fairy magic vibes. And so I know it's better than the other sites, but it, yeah. it feels a little uh, not scientific, um, which right. I don't know what we're, you know, different customers are looking for different things. So depending on what their strengths are as a company, um, you know, maybe this is playing to their strengths in the, in the nature kind of a way. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Maybe to so scroll looking, down a little bit? Sure. Okay. Well, so and actually, that's a really good here. question. So I'm here to buy something. Let's try and buy something. Can I buy anything on this page? It's the home page. Well, let me see. Um, this this is not clickable, so I can't do anything with this. Although I oh, can big... click here to learn okay. more. But let's see if we can find any opportunities to buy, buy on something. the homepage. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure which one I want to pick. Okay, that sounds good. They're both clickable. And actually, if you scroll down a little bit, yeah. there's five common health ah, concerns. Look at these. This is very clip arty to me. Right. Um, and I'm yeah. also not here for that. I was here to buy something. Um, and there's no, so there's nothing to buy on the first page. And if you keep going, what else we got here? 
Okay, well, we do have a link to explore all the products, but it's a little bit buried. Well, let's there, go to the right? sale. I want to go to the sale. I'm here for a good deal. Let's go to the sale. This elite product sale. It does sound okay. very fancy. Look at her hair is blowing back from the, oh, yeah. the window. She's of the very, bag. very excited about what she's. There's a fan. There. She bought a fan. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Clip art's always fun. All right, 50% off clear on sale. Um, do these roll over? Is there any extra information in the rollover? No. No, okay. it looks like they're link they're links probably to the product detail pages. We'll click those okay. in a minute, but it's hard to see. And you know, the images are small, so it's hard to really see anything from that. It's, yeah. There's just not a lot of good information that really speaks to me. It's um, I probably have to drill into each one of these. Um, yeah, and I'm always like, am I old or is that type too small and light gray? I, yeah. yeah, and you know, it's also, um, these look like some good deals, but I can't, I can't do anything. I can't add these to the cart <gasps> from here. There's no buy button. No buy button, yeah. Why is there no buy button? <laughs> Terrence is like, I just got here, okay? I yeah, don't know. hey, I'm just a guest here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, you're right. Thank you for but, being my guest. But you know, I like, I do like how the, the clearance sale, it's all in one play, page. I like that. It is. And I like, I like that, that the, I like that the bigger discounts are up at the top. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I can see the, the, the best. I do wish I first. could just start clicking add, 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 add. I mean, for $9, I'll take your green tea extract for sure. Yeah. And I think um, you were sort of hinting at this a bit ago, like just being able to hover over these and maybe just have a little dialogue show up that kind of gives more information, right? Maybe a, like a snippet yeah. of the product description, something like that. Well, I mean, also for me, what I've seen on some of these supplement sites that I really like, even tea sites, because tea is just a pile of herbs, right? It's not that interesting, but they will mm -hmm. actually show it in very beautiful photography, like a pile. And then you have these little lines that come off that scientifically point at different parts of the product Oh yeah. that are like, yeah. this has a really high amount of vitamin D. And this is Curin root and it does this other cool magical thing and this is this thing and so you can kind of put your ingredients in a really beautiful photography format um that when but you maybe, roll over it feels more dynamic yeah maybe they do that you want to drill into one of these products oh, let's go all right okay. let's look at green tea extracts here. so we're at a product detail page mm -hmm. okay here's our images here looks like really it's the label so the Just front the side of the label uh -huh. back side of the label, yeah. some ingredients. But yeah, what you're saying, I, I love that idea, being able to highlight the actual product, put some informational sort of arrows to mm -hmm. each thing and what the benefits are right there. And people love images, right? They love to look at images. So yeah, really put and it's really great to set the customer expectation as to what they're gonna get. And so I love, I know that supplements, maybe it's just a pill. This one's yellow, this one's green, this one's gold, this one's clear, this one's not clear. Like. If you know and you get that bottle and you receive it and you put it in your hand and it matches the photo, your whole expectation of buying online and the fear of not knowing what you're getting is totally evaporates because yeah. you you saw what you're gonna get, you got what you're gonna get. So the customer satisfaction already, you're ahead. Um, yeah. When I first looked at this page, the first thing I saw was 50% off the little tiny red. Um, yeah, that's that good. That makes me really happy. Yeah, but I like that. The, but the buy button, it's like little, and it's at the bottom. It's towards it's not the bottom even, of this page, yeah. It's yeah. not a bright color. It should be up at the top next to green tea extract. Buy now, like buy it. Yeah. Like make it yeah. easy to give me your money. I do, what do you think about this? I like, I love this 50% off and really highlighting that, you know, and showing the old price really reinforces that. Um, down here, there's a total savings. I bet if we increase, oh yeah. So as we increase the quantity, that goes up. So you can clearly see the total amount that you're saving. How do you feel about that? Do you think that that's valuable in, in addition to having it up here? Yeah, I mean, any, I mean, yeah. I mean, it is 50% off on sales. So that's, you know, I love saving money. I already feel a little special. Yeah. You got four? Wow. Yeah. The green tea yeah. guy over here. <laughs> what else do we see? What about this area over here? People who bought this also bought. I had strong some... focus. Uh, What's that? I feel like it's drawing focus. I mean, like your buy buttons at the bottom and then all your cross sells are over here. Like I'm just going to wander off into cross sell land now. Yeah, you've got someone who's really digging into this product and now we're potentially distracting over here. Also, I haven't learned anything else. about this product other than these four bullet points, which I am a fan of bullet points. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have a question from the audience. If uh, they should show all of the labels of the product on the product page, does that provide value? I guess if it's the only thing you've got. 
Yeah. And I think people, I mean, people want to know what, what are in these products for sure. So you could either do that oh through gosh. labels or you could do that through or ingredients. Video. Yeah. Um, videos. Or videos. Yeah. Where you talk about all of the products in the, or all of the ingredients in that product. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what we didn't do, Terrence, though? We totally, let's finish this page, but we skipped ahead. We did not give you the chance to shine. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll circle back to that. <laughs> okay, I'm expecting right. a very shiny Terrence. Yeah, so let's keep going. So we're scrolling down. We're going to learn more about this product. No, maybe we didn't not. get enough. Maybe we didn't get enough up here. So well, like, yeah. Okay. So this is what kills me on, and I think I've always done this uh, with the annotate button. So you probably don't need me to do it again. But you've now got social media links that I'm leaving the page, and and I'm like, why would you do that? Don't do that. And then you have a bunch of uh, symbols which are unique to this company. So they do not represent anything that I as a brand new consumer know. Um, and you have to scroll over them to read them. So to me, this is just clutter that distracts from the buy button um, and yeah. does not actually provide value. Well, um, and I, if, if I don't know what a Violite bottle is, then I still don't know just by looking at this, right? <laughs> there's, a tip that, there's a tool tip there that maybe could be used to, to reinforce what that is, but I'm, I'm not, you know. I'm well, not and this to me also seems more about their um, entire company quality, uh, which I would want to include on product pages as well as the homepage. Yeah, but sure. the presentation of the information I think has to be just a little bit more accessible. Mm -hmm. um, this mm -hmm. next row here is videos about the company. Oh man, we should, should we find out about perks? Yeah, so this is about quality. It's not necessarily specific to this product, but oh um, yeah, it's not. It's just uh, the general. Which again, if you're if you're going to start abandoning an about us page, which is fine, um, you you need to have on your product pages some customer um, support and recognition about you know shipping, returns, trustworthiness, quality, who you are. Very minimal because that's still the opportunity to sell you as a brand that they should trust and the product that they're trying to get. Right, right. Uh, let's look, you asked about perks. Cause I, I didn't see this over here. So quantum perks, let's play this video. We can maybe learn more about earning points. All right, let's get some perks. Music on. Okay, uh, this video is square. Notice that's not sort of the wide, the wide format. format. Yeah. Correctly, yeah. Yeah. Um, typing, typing, typing. So it talks a little bit about the program, but not necessarily what to do. So maybe that's a, you know, so I got nothing out of that video. Yeah. It, could, it might as well have just been a graphic that says you can also get perks. Um, yeah. Okay. Though I am a big fan of videos. Um, so product right. benefit, well, this looks good. I love the little red check marks. It's helping me focus. Um, do you think, so Jasmine, something like this, would this be more impactful up? I'm going to scroll uh, up here mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. the top of this. So it's boom right there. Customers see it right away. They know what they're getting. Well, I honestly have to read both. Um, I'd yeah. want to. I'd want to read both and see which of these two sets of bullet points is more important, or actually helps to set, support the sale of the product. Mm -hmm. um, but I think there's other design layouts that we could be looking at for them, where you have a lot of this information above the fold in a way that you're able to click through it without doing too much deep scrolling. Right. Right. All right. Well, speaking of deep, deep scrolling, let's keep there going. We go. So we've got Discover More, which gives. Holy crap. Wow. A lot of content. A whole lot of content, uh, oh, which, would, which, is, which could be valuable for SEO, right? That could certainly you know, uh, bring something to the table, but I don't know what the content is and whether or not it's actually helpful in that case for SEO, but that could be helpful. Yeah, um, this is good. It kind of covers what the product's good for. Um, ingredients, I do want to know what's in it, but it is oh, so yeah. far down. And they see they have a little bowl of ingredients. Like that that picture would be great in the carousel, yeah, also the carousel with a supporting the video. Yeah. So you have yeah. the picture of the bottle, you have a picture of the product, um, which maybe this is the product. I don't know. I think that's actually the raw ingredients of the product, probably not right. the actual product. Um, Recommended usage. I mean, clicking into a tab just to get one sentence. Oh. We, we, 
Yeah. There's probably a... I don't know what, you know, like people think clicking is so easy, but users are tired. Like, yeah. I don't know why, like if you have to make me click something, it's like, oh, it's like having to go on a run. I don't want to go on a run. Like make, I just can't not be bothered for clicking. I don't know. It's There's been this happening over the years. Like people are like, just don't make me click. Yeah. Like it's it. an amount of effort easy. that some reason has made it so much more difficult. And it's really a minimal amount of effort, but still. All right, have more questions. Okay, so I, these are Ooh. oh these are so contact links. So well, let's like try and email them. Email. Oh, that takes to a contact that us page. That is not that's, an email. So that's the team, and that's good. I like seeing the team. It gives a nice personal aspect to it. But they look like nice folks. But that's not why I went to this page. I went to this page mm -hmm. to talk to these people. So let's see. Um, here we go. So okay. I think. You saw that email icon and probably figured, hey, it's going to bring up an email and let yeah, me start typing an email, right? Why do people do this? Why do people still have contact us pages if right next to the contact us page, you're going to put your email? Yeah. Like now I, I'm just going to go copy and paste that email and then open my email thing and then email you. Yeah. Like why isn't that That's button true. just opening and auto-filling my email situation? Like I don't understand the contact us button anymore or box anymore. It used to be yeah. to avoid bots. But if you're going to avoid bots, then don't put your webs. <laughs> Agreed. Cross and this is, this is just asking the customer for, you know, to do more. So, um, yeah, yeah, I agree. I think that, that could be, that could be All improved. Right. All right. Well, One so thing I wanted you to look at on the other page. Um, oh, you want to go back? Mm -hmm. Just one. Okay. And then we're going to, then we're going to go, um, technology time with Terrence. Yeah. That's the triple T. I just made you a brand. Oh, hey, real quick. There's a section down here. People who bought this also bought, which is what we saw up above. Does it match? So, I don't know. Let's see. Olive Leaf, Olive support, Leaf support and Men's and Quantum Men's Fuel. Quantum. I'm going to scroll here. It does not match. So did they not also buy this or is this just random? You know, that could be a just a manually curated list of products. It's possible oh, okay. that that's what that is. There's and some the olive one... leaf support. So, okay. okay. That's in there. All right, go back down though. I want to see if I can buy one of those. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's add olive leaf. Okay. Did it work? I'm clicking add to cart. Okay. What happened? Well, I'm we still on green tea. Olive? I'm still on green tea extract. So that's good. No, maybe not good. Huh. I don't know. I, okay. Okay. Well, it look, it, the, it says one thing is in our cart. So why don't we try and add green tea extract to our current cart and see if that experience is different. It is different. So it didn't refresh the page and oh, Ooh. it pops up the mini cart. So that's, and there's my olive leaf and my green tea. So it's a different experience depending on which button you're yeah. clicking. Okay. So yeah, for those of you at be... home, we did know this was gonna happen, but what happened was when Jasmine was driving, she clicked the olive leaf button like four times because nothing yeah. was happening. And it turned out that I had added olive leaf four times to my car. Yeah. And like I, I said to Jasmine, <laughs> like I said to my, to Jasmine, my parents wouldn't know what to do with that. They would probably and now keep that, clicking. And that's when I became Terrence's mom. Yeah. yeah. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at oh, this look, though. This we is got cool. a pop-up. Hey, look we have that. a pop-up. Unlock your free gift. If you spend a certain amount more, then you get a free bottle of plant enzymes. So that's cool. This is a little close to the chat. It's a little cluttered a little down cluttery. here. Cluttery. Yeah. Yeah. Might be, maybe put it in the other corner. Yeah, but that's I like that promotion though, and and reminding the customer that they're close to getting something free. That's cool. So that's yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, we've got these items in the cart. Let's uh, let's take a quick we'll look the at cart? the cart, and then we'll look right. at. Um, we've got a few more few more minutes, and then I'll look at the technology. Let's take a look at cart. So okay, it's clean. I like that. Um, yeah, you know, it's nice. Point. I do have these these options here for auto, auto ship. ship. Learn so more. If I don't know what that is as a customer, let's find out. So I have a little tool tip. Okay, so I can earn points, quantum perks. I see that that's up here too. Let's learn more, let's click it. Click more, okay. Quantum perks. Okay, so I'm getting a very large box of legal paperwork. Yeah, no, I, I think it's an IRS audit. Yeah, right here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is, so clearly I know that the word is ship. I know they're going to ship me something, hopefully not a box this big. Um, what else okay. is in here that I'm learning about? So it's more about the program, how it works. 
Okay. Okay. It's good. Bonus points. Awesome. That's a pretty nice image that kind of explains it in a really quick way. Maybe that. I wish that was at the top. top. Yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah. Um, so click here to join. All right. Well, I want to join. I'm about to check out. I want to make sure I've joined. But wait, I'm on the auto ship page. Why is it saying quantum perks? Didn't well, we learn also, more about can... auto ship? Yeah. Well, also it says view rewards. So is it reward rewards, points, perks, and auto ship? Yeah. Well, let's click it. Let's see what we get. Okay. Well, now we're learning Man, about how many programs do they have? Yeah. Now we're learning about perks or rewards or points. Ah, and here we go. Still with auto so. ship. See, I've already left. I left and I went to Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is a lot. Um, well, and why or... would I sign up for perks? Uh, earn store credit, earn 50 points, mm -hmm. one point. Ah, receive five dollar store receive credit. Receive five dollars. Okay, so to me, that's the only reason you would join this is to yeah. receive your five dollars. So why isn't that at the top? You buried yeah. the lead. Like yeah. that's the money. That's the, benefit. the money. Yeah. Yeah. And then the how should probably go below that. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So. So maybe a little. We have. We admit that we went down this rabbit hole and we found that basically there's perks and auto ship and rewards and you can't sign up for any of it. And it's taking up two full places in the yeah. header. Yeah. And signing up is there is no sign up, which is good for a customer. They don't need to do anything new. They just need to purchase. And that's really it. But it was. Confusing. Well, then don't ask me to sign up. Exactly. It was very confusing. You're setting me up to fail. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that, Terrence. I don't <laughs> want to fail. I Let cry. To... It's an ugly cry. Let me go to check out real quick, um, just to kind of get a sense of what this looks like. So it's like David's pointing out that Amazon is the same place as two, so. Ah, okay. The Amazon does know what now? Amazon is the same prices for the same product. Oh, company. well that's oh, okay. a lot easier. Yeah. So look at this. Yeah, here I am on checkout. It's nice and clean. It's it's right. one-step checkout. Magento is out of the box. Checkout is, is pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I have seen many people extend that, and um, and in in this case, you know, it looks like maybe this is a third party module, and it's really just one step. Magento's is two step. This is one step. Makes it nice and you know easy. What's funny is when I did it, it offered me free shipping automatically. Remember, I kept trying to click the free shipping button. You know why? Because you had added four olive leaf supports accidentally to your cart. You got over the hundred dollars or the fifty dollars, whatever. Wait, it is. where does it say that I could get free shipping for a hundred dollars? Does it say that somewhere? It doesn't. Maybe a banner would be good on that. I think it's it on the homepage. Let's look on the homepage. There it is right there. Free shipping so, over 50 bucks. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Just so, want to make sure the messaging somewhere, but it would be nice if it was in the cart. Like if you go back to the cart and yeah. underneath that shipping thing um, that you have for $7, right, here. right under that, if it said free shipping, yeah. if you do $50. Exactly. Spend I'm 14 at, bucks I'm at $36. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great one. I love that. Yeah. 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 I would so probably you do have, that. Go ahead. I would probably do that. I'd probably spend, you know, 14 bucks to get a product and then not have to pay the $7.95 for the shipping. So, yeah. Um, now, are you quick, logged? Go ahead. Uh, I was oh, just going to say we're... real quick, we are, we're running out of time. So I want to oh. open the floor for Q&A. And if there are no other questions, Terrence, if you could talk a little bit about, because we had a question in the chat about uh, mobile performance. And mm -hmm. desktop load mm. performance. Yeah, I know there's some good tools from Google. If you could talk a little bit about that with the time we have left, I can. Is that the question you want me to answer, or are there other questions that we should tackle first? There, you could start with that. If other questions come in, I'll go ahead and let you know. Okay. Yeah. So we did a GT Metrics um, is a great tool out there for monitoring performance, and uh, and it leverages Google PageSpeed and Y Slow and a few other things. And right now, it's it's not scoring very well. Um, and a big part of that is actually that's a D. Yeah, it's a D. And How do they grade part, this? Well, Sorry? it's based on all these items down here, and then it's sort of the the collective average of all those. And you get a big hit for some of these up here, like optimizing images. And this one, <gasps> this one, we can you know take care of without coding. Like right? these are things that can be done you know using optimization services. You know wow. you can install modules in Magento that can help optimize these. Uh, so it's a, it's low hanging fruit, but it will actually you know provide a lot of value there and, and increase that score up. Um, there's some other things that these will show where it's like, okay, do these things like browser caching on these assets, but if those assets are not controlled by you, which in these cases most of these aren't, 
you really can't do much about that. So you kind of have to just live with it and say it's fine. Um, but there are a few in here that we, you know, that are part of the site. Those should be able to be cleaned up and caching should be enabled for those. Um, so yeah, so I think performance of the site, you can see the total page size on the homepage, very large. And that's probably- What should that number of, be? That should be a megabyte or less if you can, right? Really? That's, that's probably hard to achieve, but in this case, it's Ooh. so big, be, probably because of the video that's on there and some of the images that are there, the images that you have to optimize here. Um, now, can we get the video to be hosted somewhere else? And not in, not weighing down the site. It could be, but it still would get served when the when the user hits the site. So it may not it. Um, it may not matter in that case. Got it. One quick thing: we do like to run this through these sites through Built With, um, and this tells us you know what is the technology stack behind, or at least it you know provides a, a clue as to what the technologies are. A couple things here that we noticed: Dot Digital is part of this, so for marketing automation, that's great. Uh, mouse flow, which is really great. So these guys are looking at people's sessions and trying to optimize based on what people's sessions are doing. It's basically a recording of what people are doing. Uh, there's a bunch of tags in here, Google Tag Manager, that's great. Um, and then Magento, Magento 2.3 uh, Enterprise. So that's, that's also great uh, for sure. So yeah, I mean, uh, from a tech stack standpoint, certainly look like they're doing the right things on this. Awesome. Well, uh, we're right about at time. Um, some last comments is that David said they have a jQuery vulnerability according to their Lighthouse report. Hmm. So I think we know who to contact about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, sure. he loves Built With, and yeah, it's a great tool. Um, so thanks again, everybody. It looks like we're a little bit over, so we got some extra content for free. Um, thanks again, guys. Um, Terrence, Jasmine, do you want to sign us off? Thank you, everyone. Sure. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot going on here. And uh, so we hope you had fun at least because uh, we did. We learned a lot. Um, yeah, for sure. But thanks for joining.